How's it going everybody? My name is Mick Brosev and today we're gonna play a little bit of Hearthstone. As you can see here, I did just take my second loss in Arena and both matches were completely unwinnable. I couldn't have done anything differently and I just wanted to make a video of have you guys ever felt that Arena, Hearthstone, just matchmaking in general is rigged. Let's go ahead and jump into my third match. And uh, you guys just let me know in the comments below if you've ever felt this way. Uh, my arena deck, I usually do try to keep a decent curve. Usually trying to get at, at least a few small drops. But you guys can destroy me in the comments if you want to. Here's the deck. I did pick mage. So let's go ahead and jump in. Jane oh, a druid. Nice. Alright, let's see how this goes. Opening Boy, hand. I'll you keep the mana it. addict just because of low low mana, and we'll also keep the piloted reaper. I don't have a ton of one and two drops, so maybe I could have done that a little better in my picking. Let's go ahead and get rid of these two. But match after match, I can most likely tell what the opponent's going to do. This is a decent hand, actually. Let's see if we win. The light protects me. All right, looks like. Watch how many times my opponent has exactly enough to spend all of their mana exactly the entire amount possible we're gonna try to do the same but watch how often they can do so maybe that's something i need to focus on a little more i don't know Alright, going for face instead of killing my dude. Uh, I could bring out the Mana Addict, however, then I couldn't kill this. So, I'm going to go ahead and kill this minion here. That way, next turn, hopefully I can either uh, Spring Rocket, a small minion, or Piloted Reaper with the coin. Let's go ahead and end turn and see what we get. Alright, again, exactly uh, on mana curve. Uh, probably the most health possible for a minion. For three mana, roughly. Uh, I can't do this because then it just survives and he kills me with his hero power. I could do this and get two microbots. Uh, I wonder if I would get punished by swipe if I did this. Mm. That seems very predictable. So I am going to go with the piloted reaper. Let's see if I get swiped anyway. There we go. We have another top deck, exact mana curve, uh, four drop, again with quite a bit of health. Looks like we have no spells to kind of proc our mana addict. So I'm going to... I don't have any four drops, so I can't be on mana curve again. Next turn we could do this, but can't really take advantage of his, his inspire. What to do? What to do? Mm, I'm probably setting myself up pretty badly for swipe here. But we're going to go with this guy. And we'll go ahead and attack face since this really wouldn't benefit us to do one damage to this yeti. Let's see if we get swiped. Alright, no swipe, but I I don't know. Was that a top deck again? A top deck, exact mana curve, 5 drop with decent health. Got 22 cards. 21 cards. All right, uh, five mana. I really want to kill this, but then this goes completely unchecked. So let's at least take out the Yeti. I'll bring out this dude here. Again, I'm setting myself up pretty badly for Spipe. But what can you do? All right, here's an interesting question. You guys let me know in the comments. Should I Fire Blast him and take out a 1-1? Or save the fire blast and go with unstable portal. I feel like I'm somewhat behind on board. This is coming up in two turns, but I don't know if I'll keep my minions. So let's just roll the dice on this and see if I get completely screwed over. 
Alright, completely screwed over. I believe this originally cost 2 mana. It is a 4-3, but it deals damage to me. Let's just go for it. We'll keep the 2-1. We did get the stealth here. Let's see if we can spend all 6 mana. I wonder if it'll be another top deck. Here we go, another top deck and hero power. So, almost every play so far has been a top deck. I am happy that I get to kill the tiger. Okay, um, um, um. I could also kill his top minion, but I don't really want to resummon it later. But maybe that's a good idea. What to do? I don't really have another play. Let's just go with that. I assume this will die instantly, but at least next turn I can do my inventor here. So let's go ahead and kill the top minion. We'll kill the tiger. Now at least we're ahead on the board. Let's see if we can kill it with the top deck. Uh, Dr. Boom seems very fishy right now. Let's see if that happens. Does he have a seven, man, seven mana minion? Let's see. I haven't seen Ragnaros yet in this run, so we'll see if that comes anytime soon. I would be able to use my oh, champion hello. on the next move, but that almost never happens for me in Arena. We'll see. Hippo power. Is that his eyeball right there? What I can't tell. Better write this down. Oh, didn't spend all of his mana. That is actually very surprising. Okay, so I could go with the giant. I probably should just for stat, stat, uh, stats just for stats but I don't want this to die and if I put it behind a taunt I wouldn't have to deal with it for quite some time I wonder if he can deal with all of these stats mm. right here though hmm next turn I'll have eight mana let's see I do have the stealth I could stealth this but let's go ahead and bring out the big dude Actually, you know what? When this dies, I'm going to have 3 one, one so let's go ahead and do the 7. What if... There's like a hard thought process for him. He's got 8 mana. I feel like Aragnaros is just waiting to come out. Let's see if he top decks again. Now how about... I know that he really wants to kill this. So maybe if I highlight it a bunch, he'll just go ahead and swipe it up. I haven't seen swipe in a while. So, wouldn't surprise me. Time goes short. What if? All right, the rope burning continues. Will we use eight mana? All right, we have a legendary. Sweet. So I have another one of these to deal with. So for four mana. Well, let's see. How, how much does that guy got? All right, yeah. Four mana. Gets a six cost minion. And a lackey right at the end. So let's go ahead and go with our giant. I think the giant's a good idea. And then I'm going to stealth this guy after attacking. That way he doesn't get a taunt minion. Let's go ahead and do this. You know what? I should kill this here. That way my... This dude keeps his... Shield. So we'll do this. And then some of this. Probably would have been better to kill this guy, but then he had a ton of 1-1s. So we'll stealth this dude. Okay. And pass. Hopefully this guy does some work. And doesn't get picked off by something that is just completely RNG. Let's see.
I do have the hippo down here waiting, but I assume something is going to die to make this not very useful. He's got seven mana. What will he do? What if... Alright, I actually seen this in my last match. This kind of turned the game for me, so it returns. And then he's going to be able to kill this too, rendering my hippo completely useless. Alright, so we do have the turtle and the hippo as a play. I really don't want him to get his taunt minion. Hmm. I'm going to have to be dealing with a lot of 1-1s, one and I feel like he's going to have some type of Savage War type combo. I wonder. Hmm. It would be nice to have a big fatty again. Doesn't really have much to kill it with, so... Let's do this. We'll go ahead and deal with the top minion now. I was kind of hoping that I would get just a, a bunch of 1-1s and this wouldn't spawn, but that's alright. Alright, so we got six one ones. You could probably kill this just with those, but let's see what he does. Ten mana. Can he do twenty-four damage? Well, there's the hippo. Conveniently has a full board. Maximum profit. There we go. Now in my turn I do have ten mana, so I will be able to use my archmage here. I would like to point out that I now have no way of killing the champion. Two more mana, what will you do? A taunt. Alright. Okay. Uh, I want to do this. But I feel like it's going to die rather quickly. The other option is turtle, ice dude, kill the 1-1. One, one. But next turn he's going to shapeshift and just have a ridiculous amount of stats. What to do? Hmm. What to do? What to do indeed. All right, let's just roll the dice with this. See what we get. Hey, there we go. Not a not a half bad one. But once he hero powers, he's going to be able to take that out with the tiny one ones. Let's see what he top decked. This is usually a point in the game where I just get steamrolled by a massive minion that is just uncontrollable. Now how about... Let's see. Where shall I strike? All right, so we got a charge minion, power up everything, and I'm pretty sure I'm dead. Yep, exact amount of damage. Let me know in the comments below what you guys would have done differently. That was three defeats in a row. I feel like I really didn't have a say in the matter, and, uh, Looking back on it, I guess I could have picked more spells. I didn't really have a lot of them available to me that were good. But uh, this is pretty consistent. I have seen people, uh, shoutouts to Kerparian and a few others that can do really well in Arena. Uh, I know at the end of the day, it's just about picking the right cards and being very knowledgeable about what's going to happen next. But I run into this so frequently that it just blows my mind and I think I'm just gonna continue a series of these uh, maybe record every other match in arena and let you guys know uh, I think I might actually do a few live streams of this as well you, you guys let me know in the comments what would you have done differently on which turn and uh, I'll see you in the next one good luck